Merry Christmas to everyone from Fresh Coast Gaming. Um, here we are at Gamer Sanctuary. It is December 26th, Boxing Day, uh, and we decided we're going to start a new tradition. We're going to have a club member only uh, crazy day of gaming uh, on December 26th every year. This is going to be our first annual. Uh, we'll see if we can actually keep it through to a second annual next year. Who knows? Uh, anyway, uh, what we decided to do, I guess uh, Jeremy and Larry were planning on getting together today to play a big 4,000 point aside game, uh, mostly to test out the new Blood Angel rules, and the rest of us kind of all jumped on that bandwagon. So we're going to have three games going, 4,000 points aside. Uh, we're going to be using one of the new uh, um, data slate missions from the Black Library that came out from their advent calendar. It's the, uh, the Cryo World missions. Uh, it's a Maelstrom of War mission, but uh, it's got a couple of really cool twists to it. Anyway, we're going to be uh, getting, go get, uh, getting going today. Uh, I have drawn Matt with his Sons of Medusa Marines, uh, and I'm going to be bringing my Star Phantoms. So we're going to have, uh, actually, I think it's just lots of power around the table. Uh, Mike is the only one not bringing his Marines today. He brought his Tyranid so he can uh, show off the new bugs. He and Adam are going to do a video battle report as well, and I believe Jeremy and uh, Larry are going to do one too. Uh, Jeremy wants to play with his new camera he got for Christmas, so... Without any more rambling, let's take a look at my 4,000 points worth of Star Phantoms. Here we have 4,000 points worth of Imperial troops. There are some non-Space uh, non Marine stuff in here I'll get to in a second. Uh, we're starting with the Chapter Master, Burning Blade, Shield Eternal. Uh, this is Chapter Master Oscar, the way I like to run him. He's 290 points, uh, but he's going to be pretty badass. He's uh, hitching a ride with the Centurions, the Grab Centurions, just have, uh, grabbing heavy bolters, and a Librarian and Terminator armor as well. They're all going to be in the Land Raider Redeemer. I have a uh, Mortis Pattern Contemptor with the Carries Assault Cannons and Cyclone Launchers, uh, the Sikaran Battle Tank with Laz Cannons, Cestus Assault Ram with no upgrades, uh, Storm Talon escorting it with Laz Cannons, and as far as all my troops are concerned, I have 10 Scout Snipers with a Missile Launcher and Flak Missiles, I have a Tactical Squad with uh, Plasma, Plasma Cannon, and Combi Plasma, or I'm sorry, Plasma Pistol on the Sergeant, uh, Veteran Upgrade there, two Identical Tax Squads with Melta, Multi Melta, Combi Melta Power Fists in Drop Pods. 20 Terminators. I have five assaults, or five uh, Thunder Hammer and five Lightning Call Terminators in that squad, and then um, 10 regular shooting Terminators, two Chain Fists, and uh, two Assault Cannons over there. Uh, I also have a Calidus Assassin hiding down here. She's going to be jumping out for some fun. Uh, and you might, if you're doing a quick calculation in your head, realize that this is not a full 4,000 points. This is only 3,585 points. Where is my other 415 points, you ask? Oh, that's right. The brand new, for me anyway, Knight Acheron with the, the massive flamer, 415 points. Uh, this is my Christmas gift to myself. Uh, I finished painting it up last week and I've been trying to hide it from the guys ever since. But today it's going to be making its debut. We have named it the Flames of Perdition. Uh, bonus points if you can get the reference to that. So, 4,000 points of Imperial stuff. And I'm going to take a look at Matt's Sons of Medusa Army in just a second. Now, Matt is, uh, is taking my drop pod theme to the, uh, the extreme here. He's got... Uh, Chapter Master and Terminator armor. Uh, what's he got for some loadout from weapons? Just standard. Just standard, just vanilla, pretty cool. 15 Terminators, uh, three different squads of five with Cyclone Launchers. There are two Masters of the Forge. Uh, he's got tax squads in drop pods, looks like Plasma and Plasma in them. A six man Stern Guard squad with Combi Meltas, also in drop pods. Uh, the four drop pods for the Ironclad Dreadnoughts, who all have double heavy flamers, all have Deathwind Launchers. Six Devastator Centurions with Grav Cannons. Two regular dreads with uh, last cannon missile launchers, two storm ravens, three storm talons, last cannons all around. 4,000 points. It's going to be pretty nasty. All right, here we have a shot of the table. Um, there are no objectives in this quarter, so we don't know what's going to go on over here. Uh, there's one here on the supply dump. There's one back there. We got one in that building, uh, one right here in front of the statue. My scouts are holding this one, and my tactical squad is holding that one. Um, Again, this is a the cryostorm mission from the from Black Library's advent calendar. So there's a, there are a couple special rules uh, you can forego uh, if if you have if you if you roll any of the uh, the secure objective um, objectives, yeah. you can forego collecting points at the end of your turn to actually get something from the supply dump. Uh, you roll on a supply dump table, you can get things like a four up and vulnerable save for the entire squad. You can get a skyfire interceptor with uh, some flak missiles, uh, ignores cover, all kinds of funky stuff. So. That should be pretty cool. Um, my stuff is all deployed along this way. Matt is being gutsy. He has his two shooty dreads in the building there, which has been fortified, and his three and uh, three of his six uh, centurions right there out in the open. Uh, that little bit building right there has also been fortified by his second master of the forge. So I'm gonna see if I can't blow him off the table in turn one before any of his drop pods come down. 
I forgot Psychic Powers and Warlord traits. Uh, Matt has a trait where he can get his discard up to two tactical objectives every turn. Uh, I have the one where I get a bonus objective the first turn of the game. I have Psychic Shriek, uh, Dominate, and Shrouding for my Psychic Powers for my library. Alright, that's it. Uh, we're going to start turn one and get moving. Star Phantoms rolled out. Um, I focused most of my attention on the Centurions over there. Managed to do a wound to the Sergeant, and then he looked out, started a Laz Cannon wound to the other one, so I only dropped two wounds on him. Not great. Um, back over here, I did shift, uh, shuffle some things around to be able to hold some objectives. Over here, though, my Tactical Squad dropped, uh, dropped in, and I hit with both my Combi Melt and Meltagon on one of the Dreadnoughts in the building. He had a clear shot through the door, just his toe was covered. And I blew him up. Uh, so I did get first blood. But more importantly, the objectives I rolled, I, I rolled secure objective three, secure objective four, and then the, uh, I also got one of the, uh, the new ones for this mission, which says if I control three or four, I get one point. If I control three and four, I get two. So I got two more points for having three and four a second time. So I collected four points plus first blood for five this turn. It's an early lead. Uh, although Matt's going to drop four drop pods on me this turn, and I'm not looking forward to it. The hole in my line is not as big as the hole in my heart. My Titan got uh, melted rape from behind by uh, six uh, Stern Guard with Combi Meltas. They dropped four hall points off, and then the, uh, the Grav Centurions finished him off. Uh, I, I only killed three of the Stern Guard and one Marine in the explosion, so it wasn't even all that great for me. Um, we'll keep plugging away with him. Anyway, uh, Dreadnought over here shot at my Marines, killed two of them, tried to charge, failed. Uh, these guys grabbed this objective. The Dreadnought came down here, right here, flamed uh, one of my Marines to death, and that one killed the three Marines on top of that, uh, that building holding that objective. And that will be it. So now we're going to move into my turn two, uh, bring my, hopefully get some of my other reserves to come in. Top of turn two started with me uh, rolling secure objective three again and secure objective four again. So uh, I'm going to grab two more victory points this turn, which is going to be great for me. Uh, the last one I have, I actually also grabbed because I killed one of uh, uh, Matt's units that came in from reserves. It was like a, a fr fresh something or other, fresh meat. Uh, I can't remember. So I actually grabbed three more objectives this turn, which is great. So I have uh, eight points to Matt's two. Um, highlights, though. It took me forever to kill the, the Dreadnought down here. I shot at it with everything the Sakaran had and glanced it. One glance. Uh, Laz Cannons both missed. So I had to turn my Grav Centurions around and shot at it. Oh, before we go further, the uh, Cryostorm did arrive this turn, so all open ground is considered uh, difficult terrain and dangerous. Oh, you got a lot of dangerous terrain rolls to make, too. Uh, so we got, we got to do that. Uh, come back and do that also. Uh, anyway, um... That that it, it impacted a lot of things. It impacted my disembark move from the land raider, uh, how far I could jump out of the drop pod, all kinds of stuff. Also, it gives a six. It gives stealth to everything under 24 inches. Between 24 and 36, you have shrouded, uh, and then you can't shoot anything over 36 inches. So when all my stuff, except for my terminators, came in from reserve, I had to get close to be able to make it effective, uh, and it just didn't do much. A storm talent killed a single uh, stern guard. The Dreadnought combined with uh, the Land Raider and the Tactical Squad right there to finish off that Tactical Squad and the uh, the First Master of the Forge that came in. Uh, over here, I shot this Dreadnought in the back with a Plasma Cannon and only glanced it. I had to finish it off, like I said, with the, uh, uh, the Centurions over there. The uh, Cestus, like always, came in and did nothing. It, its blast completely deviated off the Dreadnought here, and I had to take a lucky shot with the uh, Power of the Machine Spirit multi melta on a pencil mount. Thank you for being 360 pencil mount. And uh, blew it up in the back there. Uh, but the librarian just connected from the squad here. Uh, got force off and then insta killed one of the centurions in combat. But they're still in. I did finish off that last dreadnought in the building with. Uh, my uh, Meltagon, and I forgot to, how to use the Calidus effectively. I wanted her to infiltrate so she can set up somewhere real close, and I botched that big time. So she came on from outflanking reserves on that table edge. So she's just chilling in the building. There is absolutely nothing over there for her to go for. <sighs> anyway, sorry about the uh, the long-winded uh, turn here. Uh, we're going to move into Matt's turn, too. He's going to get some more objectives. He has a fresh hand to start with, and he's going to try to play catch-up. Bottom of turn two, uh, almost all the Matt's reserves came in, came in. He has one Storm Raven and Storm Talon, and uh, his uh, other Centurion Devastator still in reserve, though, so that was kind of handy. But drop pods everywhere. This is, like, epic. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight, nine drop pods on the table with, uh, that's it, they're all on. Nine drop pods on the table. That's pretty cool. Uh, highlights. This squad came down here, uh, shot at these guys. i got to make a leadership check for them. Uh, Terminators over here shot around. These guys are okay. They didn't take enough casualties to force a test. 
the librarian killed uh, one of the centurions in combat, and the sergeant broke and ran, but I couldn't pursue some in Terminator armor. These guys, the chapter master, uh, dropped down and tried to orbitally bombard my centurions and land raider, and it scattered back, hit the land raider. Because the storm is in effect, I rolled a six on my cover save, so the land raider did not take a penetrating hit. That was cool. Uh, Terminators over here, and a bunch of other stuff shot at the Marines here, all the Deathwind pods. That sergeant is alive and still kicking. Um, Stern Guard ran over here to grab objective number two, which actually gave Matt two points. He rolled it twice for his, uh, his objective this turn. Dreadnoughts tried to flame a whole bunch of stuff. I was making saves like crazy. Lots and lots of three plus saves against Bolter shots, so uh, I was feeling pretty good about myself. However, the highlight of the turn easily, uh, the Storm Raven came in here, angled to try to blow out this, uh, blow the Cessus out of the sky, and my uh, my Contempted Dreadnought intercepted it. I got three penetrating hits through on it, and Matt rolls ones and twos for all his jinx. He had stealth from the uh, the Storm, and rolled all ones and twos on the jinx, and I blew the Storm Raven out of the sky in it with an interceptor shot. So I'm super proud of that Contemptor. And then we're gonna move into turn three. I get to draw a fresh set of objectives. Top of turn three, my Terminators disembarked from the uh, Cestus and assaulted in, killed the three of Matt's Terminators. I lost one in Overwatch in return. Uh, my Storm Talon flew over there and took a wound off the Centurion. My uh, Chapter Master and his Grav Centurions did all but one wound to the Chapter Master, then failed his charge. The entire squad there is dead though, uh, so he's all by himself. The Dreadnoughts, I, I really couldn't do much against them. My uh, Sakaran just failed miserably to do anything against that one. He, he, he stunned him, but he's got extra armor, so he doesn't really care. Uh, over here, I managed to kill two of the, two of the Terminators with my shooting Terminators who deep struck in here. I uh, blew up one of the drop pods in the middle, and my assassin failed miserably. I thought I, I was set up perfectly here. I only killed a single marine because Matt made three feel no pain rolls, and then uh, he killed her on Overwatch when she charged. So that was just bad. That was really really bad. Uh, other than that, we're going to be uh, moving into turn bottom of three, and Matt's going to get the rest of his reserves in if he uh, if he can roll anything other than ones and twos. I did manage to clear objective one. I kept uh, all of Matt's scoring units from uh, three inches from it, so I did get one more point that turn, and that's it. Bottom of turn three, Matt got all of his uh, his reserves in. Things are getting just crazy in the middle. We got storm towns everywhere. It should have been a lot better for him than it was, but it really, uh, it was, just, yeah, like he said, it's a start. Uh, he's got both his ironclads in combat, though. My centurions and chapter master are locked up right here, and this tax squad is locked up also. Um, this squad is down to a single guy with a multi melter. And that's about it. Really not much else happened. Uh, the chapter master tried to punk my lowly scouts, but uh, only killed three of them. The rest are running away. And that's, that's it. So I, I got lucky with some cover saves and some uh, bad rolling on Matt's part. But otherwise, we're still good to go. The Cessus didn't have to jink at all. He did my storm talent, so they're fully functional right now. Moving into turn four, I'm going to draw some... Well, did you get any uh, objectives that turn? One. One more point? Two. Yeah, because he's still holding that objective in the middle. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to try to clear him off it, but uh, at this point, he's still holding it. Turn four. All right, I had some good points and some really low points. Uh, let's start with the good. My Sakaran shot down one of the uh, um, Storm Talons, the one that was hovering. The Contemptor shot down the other one over here. They both barely did it, though. Jig saves were really uh, uh, saving the day. The Terminators failed to charge the other Terminator group there. Uh, Chapter Master and the Dreadnought continue to slap at each other, doing no wounds. Uh, I did another wound on the Chapter Master over here with my Plasma Cannon from the building back here. Uh, my Storm Talon took a wound off of the Marine down there, and uh, the Cestus killed one of the Centurions down there. I blew up the drop pod over here with the multi melta and killed a couple of the Marines with the Terminators, but I was still way too far out. This uh, whole difficult terrain thing is making it really hard for me to get around the board. Otherwise, though, nothing else happened. Dreadnoughts over here failed to wound my Marine, and uh, we're going to keep going. I can't remember what objectives I scored. Hold on a sec. Let me duck. Uh, clear objective one. Yes, I managed to clear objective one again. So I got a, another single point for that. Sorry about that, guys. I realized I'd forgotten to actually roll my objective at the beginning of the, the uh, turn. Uh, I, I, my new one is secure objective six, which I came close to doing, but um, not quite. Moving in now to Matt's turn four. Bottom of turn four, the Storm Raven came in and stunned both the Sakaran uh, and the uh, Contemptor. Uh, Everything else tried to just sh shoot around and uh, didn't really do a whole lot. I, the, he immobilized my Storm Raven, or Storm Talon with his Storm Talon. Uh, stunned the uh, drop pod with his servo harness over here. 
Uh, the combats both just continued to do nothing. Killed a bunch of my marines though. He did kill uh, a bunch of my terminators with uh, different weapons, so I'm down to five right there in that squad. Oh, sorry, six. There's another one hiding behind the drop pod. Uh, highlight for me though was my scout snipers got charged by the chapter master and they overwatched him and got a rending hit on him and killed him. Uh, unfortunately though, that was not his warlord. His warlord is sitting right over there. Master of the Forge all by himself, so maybe I can snipe him out of the squad now that he's all by his lonesome. Moving now into turn five, a grand total of uh, uh, nine, nine victory points for me, eight for Matt though, it's a really close game. This dangerous terrain and difficult stuff, uh, the, the ice storm thing keeps driving me nuts. My Terminators are still failing to get into, into charge range, they keep rolling ones and twos on their movement, so they're not going anywhere. Um, the Cestus killed another one of the uh, uh, Centurions, he is in hover mode right now. The Storm Talon actually finished off the Centurion. I did one wound with the Cestus. He made some great uh, cover saves and feel no pain rolls. Uh, my Terminators tried to kill uh, the uh, the Master of the Forge. Only put a wound on him. Uh, the Sycorin had some lucky snapshots on the uh, uh, the Storm Raven. Uh, Matt chose not to jink it because I only had the two Lads Cannons. I had to snap fire and I managed to hit him with one of them. I hit him with two of the Auto Cannons that ignored jink and blew it out of the sky. The Contemptor shot at the uh, the drop pod, only hit it one time and failed to do anything because, remember, he has to snap fire also. Other than that, that's it. Uh, I lost one of my Centurions excuse me, in combat with the uh, the Dreadnought, and then three of my Marines here. Uh, they broke and ran, uh, so he was chasing them down, but I can turn around and regroup next turn. Moving into turn, bottom of five. I did not collect any points that turn. All right, Matt made a play in, in the, the bottom of turn five. Uh, and it was a real smart one, actually. His Terminator charged a drop pod here. The uh, Master of the Forge tra charged a drop pod here. And then he, his Dreadnought finally killed off my Centurion over here. I took the wound on him rather than losing my two characters. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have tried at least to make the save. What I ended up doing, though, was getting D3 points for his objective to, uh, to, clear, uh, to kill three units in combat all at once. And uh, that gave him enough victory points of this turn to put him over the top. So... Um, Matt has 13 victory points to my 10. I got Linebreaker. Actually, we both got Linebreaker. Uh, and that's it. 13 to 10 through the cards, and he rolled the one again the game, so that was it. We like having this many models on the table. Uh, we've got two other massive games going on. we got Mike and uh, Adam with the Tyranids and uh, Blood Angels over here. Larry and Jeremy over here with Blood Angels versus a bunch of different Marines. But I, I, other than the brand new tax squad Adam got for Christmas, uh, we have, what, uh, eight, 24,000 points fully painted on three tables today, guys. So get your stuff painted. Have some fun. Come up here to Gamer Sanctuary. We're looking forward to uh, a, uh, a crazy year in 2015. Uh, but this is going to be it from us for 2014. Uh, have fun. Play more games. See you guys later.